Welcome to VLSI lecture series. I, Professor Ritesh Dolakya, is going to explain you examples of Boolean function using transmission gate. So here, my first question is Boolean function f that is given by a dot b plus a bar dot c bar plus a b bar c. And we are little bit to implement this by having a transmission gate. So one should know first of all what is transmission gate and that is what I have explained it in my previous video of multiplexer implementation using transmission gate. So you just go through it, it will give you clear idea what is transmission gate. Here I will be using that directly. So here if you observe this boolean function then in that there are total three product terms. right? So first I should be having three transmission gates. So let me draw three transmission gates for three products. Now if you observe with first product we have a dot b. So here I am giving input a and control input that is b. So with this terminal it should be b and with bubble terminal it should be b bar. Right as in transmission gate if you apply uh, input a with control then with bubble terminal it should be a bar right so here to form a dot b input is a and control input that is b over here and with bubble it is b bar so here my output that will be a dot b now you see a bar c bar that is there so here my input is a bar so with this terminal i will be providing c bar so here it should be c so my output that will be a bar dot c bar. Now to form a bar a b bar c here I am giving a and here my control input that is b bar so here I should be providing b so this will be resulting into a dot b bar. Now you see I need to have a b bar c so one more transmission gate that I am connecting with this line so you see second transmission gate I am connecting over here where my control input is C over here and this is C bar so my output over here that is A B bar C. Now I have three product terms and that we can directly connect with a wire and as you connect directly with a wire it will be forming function f and that is a dot b plus a bar dot c bar plus a dot b bar dot c. So this is how we can form boolean function by using transmission gate. Let me give you second question. Now you see second question that is of xor gate right. So if question is form xor gate by using transmission gate then xor gate function that is a dot b bar plus a bar dot b right. So how to form this function by having transmission gate. So you see there are two product terms. So let me draw two transmission gates. So this is my first transmission gate. Here there is a bubble and here there is a single line for control and this is my second transmission gate where here there is a bubble and here there is a single line for control. Now you see here if my input is A and if my this control that is B bar then with bubble I should be providing B. So my output that will be A dot B bar over here and here if my input is A bar and if I provide B over here then I should be connecting b bar over here right then my output over here that will be a bar dot b and if you connect this to wire your output function f that will be a dot b bar plus a bar dot b this is how we can form boolean function using transmission gate let me give you one more question so that will resolve your understanding furthermore so my question is, so this is my question. Now here, 
there are total three product terms you see right so there should be three transmission gate so i'm drawing three transmission gate you see over here here there is a bubble and this is my straight terminal of control second transmission gate is this and third transmission gate that we have like this now you see let us say we have input a right so input a that is common for all three so i'm just giving input a to all three and you see first i'll be having b bar so here i'm providing b bar and here it should be b so this will be resulting into a dot b bar now dot c that we need to perform so one more transmission gate that i should be connecting so here if you provide c control then here it should be c bar so this output that will be a b bar c right now you see a input is over here with this transmission gate and if you provide b over here then this should be b bar then this will be a dot b and with this transmission gate a input is there that is this then if control is c over here then it should be c bar over here then this will be a dot c now as if you connect all three lines then this function f that will be a dot b bar dot c plus a dot b plus a c right so this is how we should be forming boolean function using transmission gate i hope that now it is clear to all of you how to form boolean function by using transmission gate right so this is how step by step you should follow this instruction to have a boolean function by using transmission gate i hope that you have understood this video thank you so much for watching this video please do give your valuable suggestions the reason is your suggestions matters to me and based on that in future i'll be making videos which will be resolving your queries so please do give your valuable suggestions thank you so much for watching this video you can download all the materials which i'm teaching here free of cost on my application engineering funda so you just go through my application where different subjects materials are provided free of cost i hope it will be useful to you for your study in engineering